down here looks so far, I mean, so close to being a great day in Exeter's history. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think we're I think we're pleased with massive parts of our game. You know, once again, we showed a fantastic attitude, fantastic work ethic. I think defensively, at times, we were fantastic. We created a couple of real gilt-edged opportunities. Um, again, which you have to really take if you want to beat Toulon. And I think, I think our second half, we kind of we started to get a little bogged down territorially. Uh, and probably the thing we'll look at the most um, during the game is probably that second half and how we can break out of the, the cycle of being under continual territorial pressure. I think, I think we made some really good decisions to run from deep at times, um, but obviously when you affect an opposition backfield and you get them all up in the defensive line and space opens up, then we've got to we've we've got to look up and, and make those make those kicks that wing us back territory. And we were we were a little we were a little off in that in that uh, part of the game. I think um, you know realizing that sometimes it was just about relieving pressure, and other times it's about putting pressure on by carrying. You know, I'm not going to criticise the team at all. You know, we want our guys to go out and attack. We want them to go out and keep possession of the ball. Um, but at the same time, we do say to them, you know, we're going to put you under some pressure to make good decisions. And uh, it's a fantastic game for us to look back on uh, and get that balance of some of our decision making right. But but overall, you know, I was I was very pleased with the majority of what we did today. You know, you're going to make mistakes, and there's going to be the one the odd moment when a team with the players of the calibre that Toulon have got in there come, you know, you, you've got to expect, expect that. Um, and you're a little bit foolish if you don't expect that to happen. But I think overall, we were in the fight for the full 80 minutes. I think we were probably in the lead of the game for as long as Toulon were. Um, but obviously, I said that second half, we, we did kind of struggle to break a little bit of a stranglehold that came on us for most of the half. Wilkinson missed those three kicks. Did you think he might, might be your day? Yeah, but I mean, to be honest, I, I didn't think he was going to make most of them. You know, I mean, I think that's needs to be remembered. Although we were under the cosh a little bit, you know, I think three of the kicks were from inside his own half. You know, um, so that, that's not that's not massive pressure you're under. You know, you're inside the opposition half, and you can see the penalty. Well, you, you sometimes you got to take that on the chin. So, as I said, most of what we did really pleased with. Uh, as I said, I think if we could have if we could have broken out of our half a little earlier. Um, it, it could have been a real game. So I think if we'd have, when we were in the lead, if we'd have knocked another penalty over, I think the pressure could have really, really mounted on Toulon. And that's what you have to do in big games. You have to keep good teams under pressure. Um, and we, we kind of failed to do that for enough of the second half for us to really ram home the win. Do you think the lads have learned something more for next week? Yeah, well, that's the key. I mean, we, we always say when we come through a game is we've just got to be better for it. Um, I, you know, I've just said to someone else, you know, we've been in the Premiership four years and, and it is about taking steps. It's not about having it all here and now. It just doesn't work like that. You know, we've, we've been in the Premiership four years, been in the Heineken Cup a couple of years and we've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe for 80 minutes with last year's Heineken Cup champions. And I don't think anybody would have, anybody would have been shocked if who would have watched the game today, if we'd have we'd have come through on top with a couple of penalties or or whatever might happen, it would have been, it was one of those games. So, uh, as I said, you know, you're always disappointed when you lose. I'm disappointed for the players because they put so much into the game, you know. And often when you put that much into a game, you know, you'd like to get something a bit more than a losing bonus point. But um, but the truth is, we're not in any different position to where we were this morning. Really, this morning, you know, we had to win one of the two, and now we've got still got to win one of the two. But it's going to be difficult. It's got to be the away game. My question: How do you view the pool now? Well, the pool just uh, the pool's no tougher than it was before. You know, it's still the same teams, and you still got to go out and perform against them. Um, as I said, I, I think it was probably crucial that we got at least five points from the two games. Uh, getting the lunas bo losing bonus point here at home means that's still within our grasp. But obviously, it's tougher now because we've got to go away and win. Um, haven't failed to do so here, so the pool's still alive for us. You know, everyone's aware it's a, it's a very tough competitive pool where no one's going to dominate and win every game. So what we have to do now is kind of dust ourselves down and go and do it all again next week. Word for Henry Sleep. Sorry? Word for Henry Sleep. Yeah, and I think that's something we've not got to forget. You know, I think a lot of teams uh, would have been really dented by their number one fly half going off so early in the game. I thought Henry stepped up. I thought he did really, really well. You know, he's showing a, showing a real maturity. Um, you know, and I, and I certainly don't think we had any issues with the way Henry played. And, and you know, if anything, some of the stuff he did was, you know, that, that first kick he had from the touchline, that's an exceptional kick under the circumstances. And um, I think for a lad to come on in such a big game at that age, get that much game time and perform so well, well I mean, it's, it's a great credit to him. Um, and it kind of bodes well for his future. Situation with Steenson looked like he'd been knocked out or, or concussed at least. Yeah, no, he, didn't, he wasn't knocked out. It was, it's a shoulder neck type injury, so it's a muscular injury. So we'll assess him during the week. He, he won't have any problem with concussion or anything. So, um, well, not from the initial assessment. So we'll see how that kind of muscular spasm settles down and we'll make a call on the fly out position later in the week.
Okay. Just one on Knowles also, the wins, how did we see today? Yeah, well Knowles is a bit like Henry, you know, he, you, you expect a lot from him and he delivers, you know, and he was a, he was a key go forward man for us today. Um, but it, he's just getting better and better with the experience he's picking up. Um, and as I said, you know, the, the key for him is just to keep his head down and work hard, keep playing in as big a games as we can put him in. Um, and it, it does look a bit like the world's his oyster at the moment. So no, I'm really pleased with really pleased with Jack. You know, he's a good down to earth guy and he's working hard uh, and he's producing the goods for us. So you know, that's that's kind of what we want from him. And at the minute, he's not letting us down.